Brazilian politicians attack police with rifle and grenades, wound two. Brazil's toxic presidential election has taken a serial and violation turn after a radical ally of the far-right president, Jair Bolsonaro, used hand grenades and a rifle to attack federal police officers as they attempt to arrest him. Roberto Jefferson, a former congressman who was called Bonosaro, a personal friend, launched the attack on Sunday after police arrived at his home in the mountains north of Rio de Janeiro. Two officers reportedly sustained non fatal sharp no wounds, while photographs shows a federal police vehicle's riddle with bullet holes. I shot at the car and close to them, the right-wing radical admit in an online video, claiming he was resisting arrest in the name of freedom, democracy, and family values. Jefferson was jailed in August 2021 as part of an investigation into anti-democratic social media knobs, but was granted house arrest in January. On Sunday, a Supreme Court judge ordered the 69 years old be returned to prison after he published a vulgar and threatening broadsides against a female member of the court in which he linked her to a sex worker and Lucifer. When a small group of federal police officers arrived at Jefferson's door late on Sunday morning to execute the warrant, Jefferson fought back. Bolsonaro's initial response to the violence was half-hearted, with the president calling the attack on police an unfortunate incident. But a nationwide outcry appeared to force him to harden his stance for fear of alientations moderate voters before the next Sunday's election runoff with the former left list President Luis Inacio Lula da Silva. After Jefferson was finally arrested following an eight-hour standoff, Bonosario posted a video on social media in which he branded his associate a crook. He also sought to distance himself from his ally, claiming falsely that no photograph of the pair exists. On Monday, a campaign advert produced by Lula's election team warned voters, Bonorazi's violence has reached alarm height. We need to put an end to this hatred and violence. Brazil needs peace. Brazilian observers have called this election the most important and temperatures race of force since the return of democracy to the country in the 1980s. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.